Welcome to Hayes Post News. I'm Carrie Blurton filling in for Becky Kaiser. The Hayes Police Department's Bike Patrol is putting their training wheels on this week. The nine-member crew was at Gross Memorial Coliseum Tuesday focusing on technical skills training such as balance, safely maneuvering through small spaces, and maximum braking. Lyon County Under Sheriff John Kelsch, an instructor for the International Police Mountain Bike Association, says one of the most most important aspects of being a good bike officer is learning how to interact with the public. It puts the officer more in contact with the community uh, so they can have personal contact. They can hear and smell more when they're on the bike and they're much more approachable. Uh, citizens in every community that officers have gone back and operated bike patrol seem to really like to go up and interact with the uh, bike officers. Dressed a little differently, I don't know if that's a little less intimidating, and uh, the bike officer will have more of a tendency to interact with the community, and that's one of the things that we teach in this class is, is we're riding and things like that. I, I emphasize, let's talk to the public, uh, you're ambassadors for this community, and, and that's a very important role that you have in the community because without the community being part of the public safety solution in each community uh, the the, the uh, police are really not effective the community is really the biggest partner this week's hayes police bike patrol training also includes firing a gun from a mountain bike safely pulling over a car and evading cars who pull out in front of them Seven dental providers in Hayes and even more dentists across Northwest Kansas are taking appointments for the third annual DDS Give program scheduled for next month. The program allows those in financial need to receive no cost dental services such as extractions, fillings, and other emergent dental care. It's really a great feeling to be able to, to give back to some people who would have no, otherwise no other options or ways to help themselves get some care that they need urgently. It's a great feeling to be able to help help people in our own local community. The event is scheduled for September 12th. Lowe said make an appointment quickly. Spots are limited and given away on a first come first serve basis. Go to ddsgive.com for all participating dentists in your area and information on making an appointment. A longtime car wash owner is bringing new water saving technology to Hayes. Construction is underway on a new buff soft touch car wash at the corner of General Lawton Road and 27th Street. Larry Schaefer, co owner of Buff Car Wash, said the new facility will feature two IQ soft touch automatic bays and two self serve bays and will exceed the city's current water conservation requirements. The technology captures a 3D scan of vehicles that enter the bay, which provides a custom wash for each individual vehicle. The system also has new cell phone brushes that provide a more efficient wash. The automatic washes use less than half the water of traditional automatic car washes. The new car wash is scheduled to be completed later this year. After a summer of warm welcomes, FHSU's new president, Mirta Martin, was greeted with a chilling reception Tuesday. Hayes Post reporter Nick Budd has more. Last night at Lewis Field Stadium, it finally happened. I'm Mirta Martin, president of Fort Hayes State University, and I have been challenged to the ALS bucket dump. I am here with my co-partners, and I challenge the football team of Fort Hayes State University I like to challenge Mark Johnson and the men's basketball team. And hi, I'm Kent Stewart, and I'm accepting the ice bucket challenge for my son Jake and my fellow city commissioner Sean Musel. And before long, after a cheer from the football team. Roll Tide on three, one, two, three. Roll Tide! All three were drenched in ice cold water. It was freezing, but after standing out here for a while, especially for these gentlemen, I think it was a welcome relief from the hot weather. We're out here in 100 degree weather and you get that ice on your back, it feels great. It kind of cools your body down and kind of refreshes you a little bit. But the fun doesn't stop there. Right afterwards, the football team getting involved in the fun after being challenged by Dr. Martin as they lined up one after another, dumping buckets of ice water on each other. You know, it's just a great team building thing and it's also great, you know, 
for funding for that program as well. You know, our kids need to understand the things that are going on, you know, in life in the communities and you know, around the world and the people that are affected by this. And it, you know, it's good for our kids you know, to get involved and do these things. But it also it's team building, gets people involved, and understanding, you know, how important it is to raise funds for this. Reporting from Lewis Field Stadium for Hakes Post News. I'm Nick Bud. Great stuff. Thanks, Nick. Coming up, Salina's Randy Picking takes the ALS challenge. Just kidding, Randy, but he will be up next with news from across the state. Stay with us.